What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So five years ago, I bought my parents this car, the Mojave car. And today, I bought my family, my whole family, including my grandparents, this 40 million won Carnival Sedona, which is equal to $40,000. So today I'm gonna peel all the tape and review it but I'm gonna focus on the interior design because I don't really, I do like it, but I don't really focus on the exterior designs. So I'm gonna focus on the interior design today. And yeah, hope you enjoy. Yeah, so before I go into the car, I'm gonna quickly explain you about the color. So there are six options, six options. And I chose the Astra Blue. And for the inside, I'm gonna show you uh, soon, but there are three options, and actually four options. And there are black, brown, gray, and cotton base. And I chose the cotton base because it sounded cool and it kind of looks cool, actually. And my parents liked it, so that's why I chose it. So let's peel all the tape and move on. Okay, so hi, welcome to the car. But before we do the review, we're gonna peel all the tape and it's gonna be so satisfying. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Starting off with this one. So I uh, just tape it, peel the tape from here. Okay, it's gonna be fun. Okay, so this is the inside of the car before I peel all the tape and uh, and take off all these covers. So, yeah, I'm gonna take all of these off and show you. Yeah, my sister's helping out because there's so many tapes. They're like 1,000 tapes. Yeah. And also these. So now we're at the, the second row and we're gonna build some tapes here. Yeah, and we got the automatic door and I'll just explain that later on. Okay, but first we're gonna untape everything.
Oh, um, guys, and I, and when I just peeled that light, I just remembered that I had to uh, peel that one. So I'll just do it right now. So now we're at the third row. I don't think there's much to peel, but well, we will peel all of them. Okay, so I think I peeled all of the tapes. So I think it's time to get these covers off. Okay, so let's start. Look how much there were. Wait, I didn't peel this. Tape. Also okay, so guys, I'm now going out to take all these trash and bin it. Man, there's so much. And there's still more. I gotta do some more. Okay, anyway, enjoy. Okay, so now I opened the fourth seat, as you can see right here. And I'm gonna take all these covers off and do the review. It's gonna be so fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now I'm gonna have a look at some of the seats. The first row, the first row here, and the second row, and the third row. Yeah, I got some, you know, those covers there. And the fourth one. Yes, and as you can see, I can adjust the seats really easily. So if I press this, it goes forward, obviously. If I press it down, it goes down. And if I press it up, it goes up. Pretty cool that it goes up and make it go back again because I don't drive it now, of course. My dad does. Okay, so now I'm in the second row and I can see that this chair also has a um, moving controller for similar to this chair, the driver's seat, and also at the back, um, whoever's sitting on here can charge the phone by this USB type A and also on the other side and there's a pocket for some you know the paper storage and also this one okay and yeah also these are the cup holders and oh yeah, yeah this is what this one is cool if I open this I can see that I can plug the you know the actual power cord in there because mostly not every car have this they only have like these ones and the usb type a but this one actually has the 220 volt uh, power cord so i think it's yeah it's really cool actually so i'll close that down and below that there are some more storage place so if i Pull this back, and if I open, uh, I mean push this inside. Man, there's so much space. Okay, wait. Let me just push it all the way. Yeah, look at that. That's a lot of space. Yeah, that's all there is to see in the second row. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh uh, yeah, and this, for the second row, you can uh, change the the temperature of the seat. So for ventilation and for the hot seat and obviously the window and there is a shade okay and the armrests they're on both uh there are on both sides so you can have a comfortable seat and yeah i think that's all 
And there's a button at the side, at each side, there, left and right, for the automatic doors. So I'll show you right now. If I press it, it opens automatically. So it's really convenient. It goes almost all the way, so it's really comfortable to go in and go back out. So yeah, it's really cool. And now we're gonna move on to the third row. Yeah, sorry if I didn't really show you that much on that, the front part of the car, but I will do that at the, you know, like later because I think it's really detailed. So I have to go through it uh, uh, really carefully, uh, you know. Okay, so now on to the third row. Okay, so now we're at the third row. Yeah, that's the second, that's the first. And we have a cup holder at the side. And yeah, as I said before, the USB-A. Yeah, it's not on the seat, it's on the side of the seat. And there's a speaker there, and a light, and the hole for the air conditioner. And also, yeah, the same on the other side, the USB type A and the cup holder. And also we have an armrest here, not on the both sides because you already have an armrest over there. This, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say for the third row. And I will show you um, of myself sitting on the seat, how comfortable it actually is, even though I opened all the seats. So yeah, I'm gonna get more detailed into that later. Okay, have fun. Now we're gonna go on to the fourth row. Okay, so now we're at the fourth row. First, second, third. Yeah, and we're at the fourth row. Yeah, and of course the seat belts. Yeah, and it's, and it's really cool how there's like a big storage place here. It's actually really, you know, spacious. But the disadvantage is that there's not much room for the leg space but there can be actually if i pull this chair a little forward so that i have a better room uh, i have like more room for my leg and on the other side it's kind of uh it's kind of a disadvantage that it doesn't have the storage place but it does have the the you know this i don't know what you call this this is called 12 volt 180 watt and it's not called that, it's for that. But if I plug it in, I can uh, charge my phone. So yeah, I think it's actually kind of comfortable. And it's, I, I love this storage place, it's so spacious and I like it. And obviously there should be, yeah, the light there. And as you can see, if I move back a little, there's actually some space for the headroom. And on the back, it's like literally like, you know, just right next to the, I mean, like right behind the trunk. So it's like really close. Yeah, my dad just came in. He's the main driver. And I bought this car for him. He really likes it. Okay. So now we're back in the front. And firstly, we're going to have a look at the gear shifting device so come here to adjust the gear it used to be a knob for pulling it and pushing it to change the gear but now it changed to a shuttle and this is called the SBW it stands for shifting by wire so it's much more convenient you just shift it like that and yeah we're gonna move on to the buttons and the glossy finish at the front okay so now we're gonna move on and have a look at these buttons but actually they're not actually called buttons because it's not a button type it's called a touch type because if you get what I mean I just tap on it to actually press this and change the temperature or anything like that so yeah it's much more convenient and you know every time you just tap on it it you know it's so easy but if it was it's if it's a button if I press on it, like it might not really work, or it, there might be a problem, but this touch type it works better and it's more convenient. So now we're gonna have a look at the cluster at the front and the screen. 
Okay, so the cluster changed a lot in terms of the graphics. So I'm gonna focus on that later on. Okay, so as I just said, the graphics are much better now. And this is a 12.5 inch screen. Yeah, it's really big compared to the other ones. And yeah, so we're gonna show you how to change the theme of the cluster. Okay, so as you can see here, there are different themes for the cluster. So there's dynamic and classic, which is, you know, like normal, but it's a screen. It's not actually a needle. And for classic B, it's a different design. It's like sports. If you know Lamborghini, it's kind of similar to that, I think. And also classic A. This is also another design. I, I like this one as well, but my favorite is dynamic because it makes you feel like more of a luxury. So yeah, I think that's all to look at on the cluster. And we're gonna show you when I sit on the different seats in the car so that you can have a better view of how these seats look and how comfortable they look so yeah let's move on yeah so this is the front seat the first row the driver's seat where do you go shall we go let's go to dubai back to my marina dubai. yeah dubai marina <laughs> okay my name i'm gonna is... sit here now go go now i'm in the first row passenger seat and there's so much room for the, my leg and the armrest and some storage place and a cup holder really good thank you Gia for sponsoring this video yeah and this is the second row the right side passenger seat and yeah as I said before there are two arm armrests and there's a ventilation and the hot seat and the charging place yeah and we're gonna move on to this seat it's actually similar so i'm just gonna move on to the third row okay here we go yeah so now we're at the third row right side passenger seats and there's a cup holder you can see it as a cup holder and for the phone and the usb type a and the armrest as i explained before but i wanted to show you of myself just sitting here yeah it's really cool finally we're at the last row and yeah as you can see there's actually a lot of headroom about three of my fists and yeah it's three seats one in the left middle and right obviously and yeah as i showed you before there's that 12 volt 180 watt and there's a lot of actually storage place here and of course the seat belts okay so hope you enjoyed please like the video and share this video to other people who like cars like this I'm gonna end the video here and hope you enjoyed yeah and before we end the video like actually end the video I'm quickly gonna say subscribe to my channel press this button and some other videos here and thank you, Kia, so much for sponsoring this video, for giving me $50,000, 50 million won, to help me buy this car and surprise my family. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Again. <laughs>